let's look at the detailed uh, structure uh, of DNA. Uh, in 2020, 2020 um, November, December exam, life science paper two, they brought this question. It was a 20 mark question. So describe the structure uh, of DNA. This was uh, out of um, eight marks. So we say that we know that DNA is made up of nucleotides. Remember the structure of nucleotide? So it's made up of nucleotides. Nucleotides are the monomers, the building blocks of uh, DNA. We see that all individuals have the same type of DNA, but this DNA is different in terms of what they call it. That's why we have different characteristics. How is this possible? Yet all the DNA is made up of the same kind of nucleotide. Here is the question. How do buildings differ, yet all of them, they have the same material which build them? Yes, remember DNA is made up of nucleotides. So the arrangement of these nucleotides will bring up the different structure or the different composition of this DNA or the different genes it, they determine. So it's the same thing. If you all buildings are made up of the same type, or the same kind of material, maybe bricks, but the way how you set these bricks differ in these, in these different buildings and then they make them to be different. But if you break them down, you find out that they are made up of uh, concrete or cement or mixed with water, mixed with uh, sandy bricks, uh, iron uh, bars, all those things you find them in all buildings. But the way how you, uh, you arrange them, make them to be different in shapes. So that's what happens in the DNA. The arrangement of these nucleotides make the DNA to be different from each other. That's why we see that all of us, we are different from each other, even identical twins, they are different. How? You find one is tall, one is small, one is big, one is more clever, one so like that. So they are different. Even the so-called identical in on my side, I don't call them identical because they are not exactly identical. They are just halfway. They are partially identical. Okay, let's continue. So each DNA is made up of nucleotide, is a tick. And then each nucleotide is now tell us what is the nucleotide made up of. Each nucleotide is made up of a phosphate group, a deoxyribose sugar, because it's DNA. If it was RNA, then we talk about ribose sugar, deoxyribose sugar, B specific. Don't tell us that it's made up of um, a pentose, it's made up of a sugar. Which kind of sugar? Which kind of pentose? Made up of deoxyribose sugar and nitrogenous bases. Nitrogenous bases, yes. And, and the nucleotides are joined together by phosphate uh, sugar bond to form uh, a strand. So we have seen that it's made up of nitrogenous bases. So there are four types of, there are four different categories of nitrogenous bases. Mention those nitrogenous bases. There are adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. So if it is uh, RNA, then you talk about adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. So this, uh, um, these bases, they are complementary to each other. So in the case of DNA, they are complementary to each other. We saw it when we are talking about the discovery of DNA, whereby adenine goes with thymine and then cytosine goes with guanine. It doesn't matter when you say thymine goes with adenine or guanine goes with the cytosine. It's the same thing as long as you compare adenine with thymine and then cytosine with guanine then still you get a tick. The nitrogenous bases are linked together by weak halogen bonds to form two strands. So we saw that, yes, um, the, these are linked together to form two strands. So if it is a double helix, it means that uh, with the two strands, so the two strands, they coil or they twist to form a double helix. All right. I'm saying that the two strands, they twist to form a double helix. So basically, that is how you are supposed to describe the structure of DNA and then you get a mark. So here we give you a mark, here we give you a mark, here we give you a mark, a mark, each different color, you give you a mark because this one has been mentioned here. Uh, therefore, you, you, you know that this is a mark. Yeah, I, identifying them, they are complementary. Uh, uh, we also give you a tick there and then we give you a mark here, weak halogen bonds to form two strands. It means that DNA is double-stranded. 
Yes, is a mark, and then this double helix is also a mark. That's how we can mark you in exam. Make sure that you don't you don't skip these points which are in different color because those are the marking points we are looking for when we are marking. Sometimes people they write, they say that they have killed the paper. If the paper has killed them, they come out of the paper. Say that they have written a lot. Yet there are no points. Some people, they write a lot, many pages, and after that, they come back with the cartoon marks. Then say, why am I getting these small marks? It's not about how much you write, but it's about the quality you have written. Meaning that the points you have given are the points we are looking for, the facts. We are looking at the facts we need. There are some facts we are looking for when we are uh, marking. So if you skip those facts, even if you write a cloud of words, still you get zero from that. So note out when you are using our resources that these marks we are looking, these are the marks, the colored part is a mark we are looking for. If you don't have these notes, request them from that number below, then you'll be able to get the points. Ah, this is the structure we are talking about, the structure of DNA or the molecule of DNA. DNA, we say that it is a double strand molecule. Yes, it has a nucleotide. If you look at this point, it's a nucleotide. It's a nucleotide. Each nucleotide is made up of a phosphate, uh, sugar, and a genus base. Yes, these nucleotides are joined together by a sugar phosphate bond to form a strand. Yes, the two strands uh, you have uh, four bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Adenine goes with thymine, guanine with the cytosine. The two strands are linked together by the weak hydrogen bond. So the double helix, we have not shown it here. So these are the points which you need to know. Sometimes you just bring a structure, we hide this, and ask you what is this, what is this. Sometimes we hide this and we ask you uh, what is it? Because this side I have adenine, then this side I will have Thymine. Sometimes we don't have anything here, but we bring this and then we put it here. So we ask you, what is this? So automatically this shape will indicate adenine. The shape which shows like this indicate the adenine. Therefore, if this shape is adenine, definitely this will be adenine. And then obviously this side will be thymine. So basically that's how you can try to identify the structure. We will see more questions um, when we wrap up with this um, topic so that you can know exactly how do we answer those questions and you'll be able to get marks when you go to the paper. There is no way how you, you can fail if you are using these resources because whatever we are talking about is what we said. So DNA, we said that is a double-stranded molecule with a weak hydrogen bond. Yes, and then we said that maybe characteristics of DNA still uh, you can write them like that. Double, uh, it, it has what called a deoxyribose sugar. Yes. It has nitrogenous bases to tell us the nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous bases are complementary to each other. Adenine goes with thymine, guanine with cytosine. And then in the actual sense, DNA is double helix. So it's double stranded. And then this double stranded, it forms what you call the double helix. So if they bring questions uh, concerning about the difference between DNA and the RNA, so it means that you can use this point, it's double held, double stranded, then the other side automatically, it's not double stranded, it's single stranded. And then this one is weak hydrogen bonds because single stranded has no weak hydrogen bonds. This one has weak hydrogen bonds, no weak hydrogen bonds. If this is deoxyribose sugar, then the other side is gonna be, has no, it, it is deoxyribose sugar, the other side is gonna be ribose sugar has nitrogenous bases, you tell us the nitrogenous bases. For the case of RNA, this one is gonna be uracil. Then complementary bases, because the other one, this one is double strand, yes, this one goes with this, then it means that RNA has no complementary uh, bases, unless it's complementing with uh, DNA. So we will see that when you are trying to translate it. It is a double molecule, uh, it's a double helix, RNA doesn't form any helix, yes, because it's a short thing and uh, it's, it will be straight. Yes, so basically that's the structure of uh, DNA. What are some of the functions of DNA? What are some of the functions of DNA? So number one, sections of DNA forming genes carry hereditary information. So we see that DNA is very important in carrying the hereditary information. You look like your father, because 
you obtain DNA from your father and your mother. You find out that the head looks like your father, the hands looks like your mother. So it means that these genes are being carried from uh, one generation to another generation. What about when you resemble someone, you go to the village, and then you find someone there, you resemble that person. Does it mean that something happened? Write in the comment below and then tell us what is what is your view concerning about that. Then when I see many comments, I'll come back and then I'll give you the reason why you resemble someone far. Think about it. All right, DNA consists of coded information for proteins. Number one, it carries a heritage information. The way how you resemble, you obtain it from your parents. Number two, it consists of coded information for protein synthesis. So most, uh, our body is made up of uh, proteins. The biggest percentage is proteins. So hormones, uh, enzymes, which bring about the normal functioning of our body, so is uh, made up of proteins. But it is DNA which codes for those proteins. We are going to look at protein synthesis when we continue. Yes. So, but it's DNA which codes for that. And I explained that in the previous um, lesson. So in other lessons to come, we will be explaining the protein synthesis. All right. So those are the two functions of uh, DNA in our body. We saw that DNA has complementary base pairs. So let's look at the base calculations. In most cases, some books, they don't have this. But in most cases, we ask it, we ask you uh, this.